What is the fastest way to get our models on the table, roll dice with friends, be betrayed by the dice gods, and feel terrible about ourselves? Paint less. What? I am I am so I have an issue with speed painting. Things like slap chop that can be pretty decent in moderation and pretty useful for bulk chaff. But the end results don't really hit the spot for me. And I totally get that some people out there don't have the skill set all the time to put 10 to 20 hours into a model. So what we have to do is find a happy medium, a style that can be applied in 45 to 60 minutes, have a unique eye-catching result, and based around simple techniques that we already know and would be pretty useful for the future. So I'm going to show you five Space Marine chapters, all using that same approach. Let's kick it off with yellow. Yes, arguably the hardest paint to use because of its coverage, but that all changed with the Army Painter Fanatic range. To start with, we're going to take a base color and look for all of those high points where we want our light. To keep it simple, if it's a cylindrical shape, like the legs and the arms, it gets a line. And for the spheres like the knees, we'll paint a circle on top where the light would be hitting. For this one, we're focusing on the leg, but all the same steps are going to be used over the rest of the miniature. For this, you want to start off wide. Not so wide that it looks weird and out of place, but, you know, we want to leave some room. The next step is jumping up into our next colour and painting the inside of those lines and circles. We don't want to cover the previous colour or we're going to lose the effect of creating a hard gradient. The last step is to do the exact same thing with a lighter cover and covering even less. This is our highlight. You also want to pick up the hardest and sharpest detail so it really sells the light effect. This was pretty simple, but not all colors blend the same when you're jumping up in brightness. Let me show you some in-between steps that you can use to smooth out those gradients. Spoilers, it's not glazing. For this one, we're going to do a salamander, but it could easily pass as one of those filthy traders with the Sleeping Beauty Primark. The first step is exactly the same, lines and circles, remembering to leave a wider area to paint inside of. Then taking the next color, we're going to create a 50-50 mix with the base color. When I say 50-50, it's not equal parts paint. What we want to do is make a color that's halfway between the other two colors. Once we have our transition color, we're going to start covering those same areas. Again, leaving all the previous colors showing before moving into the next pure version of our middle color. Having another color in between our base and layer on such a small surface is going to ease the transition and somewhat trick our eyes into believing it's a gradient. It's also a great step if you did want to glaze over those layers and create a silky smooth gradient. Next up, Blood Angels. Yes, this is going to be the same basic steps, but there is something a little different. And for that, we're going to need a speed paint. Stepping up in brightness can usually mean desaturation, and red is typically one of those colors. When building up with red, you have two options to move up in brightness by using a yellow, which will make it more orange, or build up into a pink. For this, we're gonna move in a slightly more pink direction, but we're gonna take our speed paint, thin it down quite substantially, one drop speed paint, two drops water, and paint a thin coat or two over our reds to resaturate them. This is gonna give them some of that vibrancy back. Tinting a model in this way will darken it a little bit, and if you feel it's too much, you can always go back with your final highlight color and touch up just those sharpest details. I suppose we can't do a Space Marine video without the Ultra Smurfs. But I'll show you a trick at the end to make them Crimson Fists. By now, you don't need me to tell you the steps of how to build up the basic layers and highlights. So while we get it built up, if you think we've earned it, hit that like and subscribe. It's the easiest way to support the channel. But if you want to take it a step further, we have a Patreon. It has an awesome Discord community and the Prismatic Heretic tier puts you into the monthly draw to receive a painted model. Links are in the description. All right, send that Robo Boy packing. For that, we're gonna need a purple speed paint, and we're gonna tint this in the same way that we did for the Blood Angel, but using the purple all over the blue is gonna give it that really cool midnight blue feel. Yes, you could use this for Night Lords too. Then using the same steps from the red, We'll do a quick workup on the hand and chest. Since this is a speed painting idea, we're going to do essentially a dry brush on the crest using the same colors, but only using downstrokes. 
They will pop out the detail and highlight the parts that we want to stand out pretty quickly. And this wouldn't be a Heresy for Heretics video without some hot pink. Because we're using a lot of contrast between the deep dark black and building up layers and highlights in a pretty small area, this is a great way to dip your toe into non-metallic metal. It's also a great idea to base coat your model with the same black that you would use to paint with, even if you've primed the mini black. This way, if you need to clean anything up, you're not going to have too many variations. Massive love to all our Patreon members that keep the channel running. We wouldn't be here without you, and we'll see you next Tuesday.